Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about toddler fracture imaging. Definition Lower extremity fracture or stress fracture in young children usually as they begin walking may or may not be known injury even. More common sign is the toddler refuse Zing to walk, be a wage on affected extremity, painful to direct palpation. Type 1 tibia fracture, pain on post tibia torsion. Age 9 to 5 years old, pick 1 3 years old. Etiology A children learn to walk. Lower extremity is exposed to new axial loading stress, Me mechanic of walking unrefined, or frequent torsional component, jumping from height. Initial description was of distal tibia fracture, subsequently expanded to all of tibia, then to include any vulnerable portion of lower extremity. Different sort of diagnosis, child abuse, osteomyelitis, osteoastoma, leukemia, or neuroplastoma. Best diagnostic clue, spiral fracture of distal tibia south in children of appropriate age, sclerotic band of hind foot, or metatarsal. Location. Distal sub, more than proximal sub. Taiwan. Twisting injury leading to spiral fracture of mid sub or distal sub. Tie to hyperextension injury, transfer fracture of proximal sub. Femia. Yaphysis or metaphysis. People of distal yaph Metaphysis, talus, neck and body, calcaneus, vertical near hypophysis, horizontal along base, cuboid, knee, near calcane, calcaneo, cuboid joint, metatarsal. So remember, Toddler fracture not just only tibia fracture, but can be any long bone of distal or lower extremity within age between 9 months to 5 years old. Radiologic finding may be normal for up to 7 to 10 days after onset of symptom, if not dormant, bobbing deformity without the straight fracture line may occur in severe or deeper. Specific sign Tibia could be Tai 1 and Tai 2. So Tai 1 described like non-displaced spiral fracture of distal south, often better seen on oblique, tied to buckling of proximal anterior cortex, transfer fracture of posterior cortex. Femia occur at earlier age than tibia and hind foot. Fibula buckle or bowing deformity of distal south. Talus, sclerotic band along short axis of neck. Cancanus, vertical sclerotic fracture line pa parallel to calcaneal epiphysis. Horizontal, sclerotic band parallel to plantar cortex. Cuboid, sclerotic band parallel to calcaneal cuboid joint. Metatarsal, buckle. Fracture of base, especially first ray. This is the example 
of X-ray AP radiograph of a three years old boy patient with leg pain, which we cannot see any obvious fracture on the first X-ray. So this is could be taller fracture according to the age and clinical presentation. For this example of AP view of these three years old patient refused to wear bear wage, so a spiral fracture of diaphysis of the mid tibia cyan solid arrow indicate. Another example on lateral radiograph in the same patient, so the mild displays and overall extent of the spiral fracture. The third example, lateral and AP radiograph uh, from a three years old patient who was possibly extracted from an HSA saucer. Lateral views clearly show the spiral total fracture, wisely arrow indicated of the distal tibia. AP views show no evidence of fracture. These are commonly visible on only one view. AP radiograph of a three years old boy refused to be which so a non-displaced mid tibia geophysic spiral fracture. Cyan solid arrow indicate this fracture are often subtle. Lateral radiograph in the same patient so the subtle mm -hmm. fracture line why solid arrow indicate in the mid-south of tibia, the location of toddler fracture is less common than the distal tibial south. AP radiograph of 18 months old patient who refused to use the leg, so a spiral non-displaced fracture, why solid arrow indicate in a, the more proximal tibia. CT finding also similar to radiograph but more sensitive. And MI finding so the hypo and ten fracture line on T1 WI and T2 WI S with surrounding marrow edema. Treatment generally conservative spin cast are good. Thank you.